Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a bonus love reading for you. Um, thank you for being here, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. I'll link that below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into this bonus love reading, Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing you, Aquarius, with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Aquarius, let's see what's going on in love. Everybody wants to know about love. Okay. Please cut over. So it looks like some of you just really want to focus on developing yourself, um, getting, trying to stay emotionally stable. Um, something or someone's trying to destabilize you, destabilize your energy. Um, maybe even by displacing uh, what's going on in their life, trying to put it on you or bring you into it or ask advice of you. Or to tell you what's going on with them. Or, um, they're really trying to involve you in something that has nothing really to do with you. Or it's something that you can get advice for and then move away from. And it says the cards because right now you need to be practicing um, emotional stability. And you don't need anything or anyone trying to destabilize you. You may be coming up. As maybe um, self centered or focused on yourself, maybe even overly focused on yourself at this time. Uh, for some people, to do this, yeah, and they say that, you know, she's a little uh, self centered right now. She's definitely, or he is definitely focused on himself. Um, relationship right now is going to develop and, and take a turn, a new level here. Now, that level is going to be determined by where you are, okay, with this person, and definitely respected to each every, each and every person, so the new level can be that you guys want to grow closer, um, I don't know, you know, take the relationship up a notch, uh, move in together, do something together, um, do something emotional together, there's going to be more emotional satisfaction, more an opening, more open and vulnerable conversations or more intimate conversations here. Um, or it's just more so it can move to a friendship level. Something where um, the, the relationship changes here. Go to new levels. Um, you really want to be caring for yourself. Um, you care for others, but you also have your boundaries set. You're able to get good advice right now because you're not attached to the outcome. What they do with the advice is what they do with it. And that's how you come in as Aquarius. Your cup is closed right now. You come in as the Queen of Cups. You're just not ready to give away your love, your devotion. Wow, this just came out. The lovers and the King of Cups. The lover and then the King of Cups. So this is definitely a significant union in your life. It's just a significant relationship. This relationship is or has already talked to you something about yourself. Um, you guys were destined and destined to be or to meet each other, to be in each other's lives. Now, forever, I don't know. Only time will tell with that one. When destiny takes its course and it puts you and someone else on the same frequency and in, in the same time and space and you meet each other, then destiny has already done its work. Destiny was the meeting, was the, the divine uh, appointed, or what is it, the, the divine or destined meeting, right? And now you have to... Uh, now free will kicks in. Heaven, destiny, God, whatever you believe in, has already done that work. And it was just putting you in a place where you would meet this other person. Whether it was a friend or the love, you know, a love interest. Now what you do after you meet them is all on you. Do you learn the lesson? Do you grow together? Do you, does it turn into a lifelong relationship? You know, that's only you and your person. It has to be... Um, to where you guys find some common ground to actually stay together. And that's the, really the basis of staying together is the common ground. And in this day and time, there is very little. There's very little intimacy between relationships anymore. 
It feels like a sex happening, but not about the intimacy. There's still people getting into relationships and acting like two individuals, two single individuals. Uh, there's no margin of, you know, of, you know, of two people anymore. There's no intimacy. There's no intimate talk. Of, there's no vulnerability. So this relationship is significant here between you and this other person because you come up as a queen and king of cups. So there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of likeness. Um, there's a lot of heartfelt emotion. Someone also is trying to maintain their balance here. They feel like they have like an over an outpouring of emotion and love for you. It, they're out of balance, they're out of whack here, they're not used to this. Um, you're keeping it to yourself and you're trying to maintain emotional stability while this other person is trying to stay balanced in terms of their emotions for you because they're not used to having all these emotions for one person. Maybe they're good at manipulating their emotions and not showing and not getting. They're good at dividing themselves and dividing their emotions. This person can be good at keeping a lot of different energies surrounding them or around them. Therefore, nobody really gets the fullness of them. But you, Aquarius, someone has calculated this person about you, um, about the connection with you. They just don't understand why they're all kilter or they're out of balance or they're out of whack when it comes to you. Some of these don't understand that this relationship came into their minds to teach them something about themselves, not about the other person, but something about you. Something about yourself. You have your own lesson, Aquarius. The person has their lesson. It's not on you to tell them what their lesson is, and it's not on them to tell you what yours is. Get the lesson, learn together, find common ground to stay together. That's pretty much the gist of things. Let's see what else do the cards going to tell us. Wow, nine of cups. Somebody is really got a lot of water energy. You can't see these Scorpio, Gemini showing up. Libra. Uh, Scorpio again, Pisces. Um, if you guys are separated, and it looks like you might be, uh, somebody is longing for your touch, for the emotion that you make them feel when they're with you, they're longing for that satisfaction, that, that happiness, maybe even that good feeling, that good sex. If you've had sex with this person, they they want that back. Um, you know, without it, there could be somebody overindulging, drinking, eating too much, really trying to get that feeling back. However, they can. There's some, there's a displacement here. So when displacement happens, when something is taken away from you, right? So then you have to replace it. So you you're displacing. So my my lover is gone. So now I need to um, put something in place like that. My lover is gone. I'm no longer happy. The happiness went with the lover. So now my emotions are displaced. So now I need to replace those displaced emotions with maybe overindulging, eating, drinking, doing something too much. I need to get the, that same feeling back. I need to go to the door for the back. This person also could be engaging with other people. Trying to replicate that that feeling that they have with you, Aquarius. Let's get some advice from you. We're gonna see what the advice is in terms of um, what you should do in this connection, Aquarius. You can see what the advice is over at the extent. Let's get advice for Aquarius. Okay. Um, interesting advice, and we're going to dissect this Aquarius. Um, then person, I'll show you this coming up as the king of earth. So we will talk about that. Um, very interesting advice for you. I thought it was going to be something different. All right. 
So let's go over to the website and um, see what this advice is for you. Um, I think it's an interesting message because what the universe has done in this message is put the decision on you. We have two, four, six, eight, two, ten cards laid out. You only have one major arcana. Yeah, this Aquarius is all on you in terms of what it is you want to do. The, the advice is very interesting in terms of, you know, it's not, oh, this person is toxic and they stop it and run and run. You know, yeah, we get it. Um, they're toxic people. Shit, you could probably be toxic in your life too. We all have, we get it. You know, you can go to any reader and find out if somebody is toxic. Um, but this advice here is interesting for you because it's prompting you to deal with you and your emotions. All right, Aquarius, so if you want to know what the advice is, meet me at the other side. The link is below. Thank you, Aquarius. This is your bonus love reading. I hope that it resonates for you. All right, take care.